Welcome everybody, this is Jason, and today in Assassin's Creed Rebellion, we are going to do the Envious Challenge. Now the Envious Challenge here is, uh, there's three different levels here. Use picklock skills to unlock 35 loot chests or doors. Uh, as you see, the top prize here is 200 shards and 10 uh, fragments of an epic enforcer Mario. How I do this is a three-step process. The first thing we're going to look at is which characters actually have the lockpick skills. So we'll go back here to our characters, our heroes. Uh, if you look through their skills, uh, you'll be able to see the lockpick skills here. I know I have a couple of them. None of you guys so far. Let's see how many. There we are. There's our lockpick skill. Lock, lockpick adept. Definitely pick the locks on a chest or door. Dexterity impacts the chance of success. So four charges for him, which is nice. And I think I have one more character we're going to use. And we're going to go with, I think it's Alfonso or something like that. There he is. Alonzo. Alonzo also has a pick, a uh, lock pick skill also. So once we figured out which characters we need to use, we should now go through our missions were available that are available to us and see which see ones have the most chest. So go through this level here. Um, I've already done this previously, so I've already looked at these guys. So we're just gonna go through. And uh, here's the chest you're looking for. Two is pretty high for me. Um, that's one, one, two, one, two, three. There's a winner there. Um, so what else do we have here? Three, two, three. So there we go. So I have two. They're going to have three chests in their level. <clears throat> so that's going to be the highest for me so far. If you're further along in the game, obviously you might have uh, better opportunities there. Uh, and then the third thing we look at, is there any, any additional items you need uh, to build like weapons or armor or something like that? So I need some leather scraps. Some uh, leather scraps right there. Now, I'm going to look through the ones that have the three chest, and see right here, the seventh, and the loot missions. Gets me some leather scraps for a building, and it moved back. And also, the three chest. Alright, so we're going to do level seven here of the loot missions. Here I have our characters picked out here, Hamid, Alonzo, and uh, additional character. It doesn't really matter because you're not really going to use them because um, they don't have the lock pick uh, abilities. All right. So let's look forward here. I don't think we have any issues at the beginning here. Use Claudia here just because she's not as important as the other two right now. Although I hope she does not die. That would be a bad start. So we're gonna look up here and see what else we have up here. Looks like we have a chest right there. So that's gonna work out well. Uh, no chest in the next room, but let's just heal everybody up because I forgot to do that beforehand. I may need something else. And let's do the more critical people. Alright, so what have we got here? We have 88 for Alonzo. I think that's where we're going to be. So we'll look up here. Got the 88. Oops. I have Claudia. She gonna die. Oh, maybe not. Oh. Oh, she got it. That's the way I'm talking about. Alright, next is... We found our chest. I made it here is the best. 95%. One chest down. Good. Alright, should be able to... Let's use this little special there. Hop back down.
Oh, there we go. So we should be able to hop down here. And lots is going to be the best for this room. Sneak across there. That worked out well. Next room here, do we have any chest? Doesn't look like it. Lots is still going to be the best. It's 95% sneak ability. All right. Down the next room. Next room does have a chest. So I'm going to have to back to uh, Hamid. And it should be able to beat the uh, enemy there relatively easy. Pick the lock. That's number two. So that's two out of three. There's got to be another one somewhere in this uh, line, in this uh, building. Let's we'll see if I can actually sneak by here real quick. And choose a mid. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. So we didn't have to do that room back there. Which is nice. Because there's no benefit to us. So let's pick a lock there. So we picked door lock. So that helps. So that should be three locks. We can look up here. See what we got going on. Uh, nothing too special in the next room. Oh, we do have a lock over there. So it doesn't really matter who we pick here. It's just going to be the best percentages. Uh, looks like Alonzo. Alright, that was simple. Uh, I'll go back to mid over here for the other chest. Pick. Alright. So that should be four total lock picks. Uh, three of the chests and one door. So that's more, one more than we were bargaining for before. We can go back to the Lonzo here and uh, should be able to get out of this situation pretty easy. There we go. I'm out of jumps, looks like. Was not an issue. One more, one more. Money. <clears throat> All right, I think that was an eight before, as far as uh, picked locks. So I think that door counts as a an additional pick. So that's good. So then this uh, this mission here get a total of four, if I'm correct. So let's go back to the event. Challenges. Hi, I am up to 12. So yeah, so that gets you four locks, uh, four uses of your lockpick skill. Uh, so you do it five times. So that's 20 of them right there. So that should be uh, pretty easy. So that's only 25 of your stamina for for 20 lockpicks. So it's a that's a good benefit for you. You should be able to get through it relatively quickly. All right, so uh, yeah, basically what you need to do, three steps. Uh, look what you need to get done. Go through your characters and see which ones have the ability to use it. And then go through the missions that are available to you and see which ones have chest. Uh, and the ones with the most chest. And also has additional um, items that you want to collect for your people. And just choose that one. All right, thanks for stopping by. Uh, see you later.